Now let us discuss about the Pascal's law. Pascal's law states that the pressure exerted on any part of a liquid is transmitted equally to all the parts of that liquid. So how will you prove this Pascal's law? Suppose there is a solid in the shape of a triangular prism. See like this if you have a beaker it is filled with some kind of liquid let's say any liquid and we have a solid in the shape of triangular prism just like this dip in the dip in the liquid i'm just zooming this and drawing this like this so we have to prove that the pressure on every face of this solid that is this solid must be the same so how will you prove this for that let's erase this For that, let's name all the vertices of this triangular prism. Before that, let us introduce axis to this prism. Let this be the y-axis, this be the x-axis and this be the z-axis. This is x, y, then z. Let's name all the vertices. Let it be A, B, C, D, E and this point P4. This angle will be 90. Clear. Let there be three forces. The force on the face O, A, O, D, E. Let it be F, A. And the, face, and the force on the face, on the bottom face A, B, C, O. Let it be F, B. And another force on this slanting face E D C B F C. So we have these three forces and let this angle be theta. Let's call this length E A. Let E A be D Y. Uh, A B be D X and the length slanting length E B be D S. Clear. Now if you resolve this force, see the net force on this solid is zero, so that the solid must be in equilibrium. So if I resolve these forces, let this be the x-axis, these three forces can be represented in a plane, clear. This is the x-axis, this is the y-axis and we have this force Fc like this fc and this force fa directed towards the x axis fa and the fb in the y direction clear now we have to resolve this before that we must find this angle theta sorry we must find this angle what is this angle for that let us consider this triangle e e a b let this be E A B and we know this angle equal to theta and this is the force F C and this is the line of action of that force and if I draw a horizontal line just like this we know this angle will be 90 so that this angle equal to 90 minus theta again this whole angle is equal to 90 so this angle will be theta clear so this angle equal to theta. If this angle is theta, this angle is also theta. Let me erase this. Okay. Now you can resolve this as this will be Fc sin theta. Clear. Since this angle equal to theta, this will be Fc sin theta. This will be Fc cos theta. And if you look at the equilibrium of the forces, now you can remove this Fc and define this Fc in terms of Fc cos theta and Fc sin theta. We know the net to horizontal force must be equal. So the forces towards the right must be equal to forces towards the left. That is Fa equal to Fc cos theta. 
let's call that as equation number one similarly fb net, net upward force equal to net downward force fb equal to fc sine theta let's call that as equation number two clear let me raise this also if you look at the triangle this one e a b we have this length equal to dy this length equal to dx this one equal to ds and this angle equal to theta and if you take cos theta if you take cos theta cos theta will be adjacent by hypotenuse that is dy divided by ds so that dy equal to ds cos theta clear i'll write it here dy equal to ds cos theta ds cos theta let's call that as equation number three similarly if you take sine theta sine theta sine theta will be opposite by hypotenuse that is dx by ds so that dx is equal to ds sine theta dx equal to ds sine theta let's call that as equation number four clear now we have the pressure on the phase A, no, pressure on the phase EDOA, we have that is equal to force on A divided by area of, area of EDOA, EDOA, clear. We know pressure equal to force by area. Let this length be DT, that is the thickness of the prism be DT. Okay, now you have this phase, area of the phase EDOA, since it is a rectangle, it will be length into breadth. So, FA, instead of FA, you can write FC cos theta divided by dy into dt. Clear. This will be equal to FC cos theta divided by, instead of dy, you can write ds cos theta i'll write it below this is equal to fc cos theta divided by dy equal to ds cos theta into d into dt you can cancel this cos theta and cos theta so the equation will be fc divided by ds into dt so this is equal to pressure at A. Now the pressure at B, let, let me raise this. This is at B. Now pressure PB is equal to force at B divided by A B area area of A B C O. Okay. You know FB equal to FC sin theta divided by area of ABCO will be DX into DT. Clear. So PB will be, let me raise this. So PB, PB is equal to FC sin theta divided by dx is equal to ds sin theta ds sin theta into dt you can cancel this sin theta and sin theta again you will get fc divided by ds into dt that is pb now if you look at the third pressure at the third phase pc pc that is on this phase we have phase pressure at uh, the third phase equal to force Fc divided by area of that area is that slanting phase is EDCB. EDCB. That will be equal to let, let us write Fc itself Fc 
this area equal to dt into this this source is right this source is rectangle so length ds into dt ds into dt now if you look at the all the values you will get pa equal to pb equal to pc that is pressure at every phase is the same so this is the pascal's law clear